But from those three lines were the word room. That's it, a room. Très bien. That's all they're saying is a room, uh, une chambre. Now, literally, the windows are half closed. The blinds, is persienne, is blinds, right? But I'm not expecting you to know blinds, right? It's just, okay, a room. Go on. That's how you're going to be able to read 28 pages over a weekend. D'accord? Okay, so a room so far. We have a room with, with light. Okay, continue. Un rayon découvre un monde de femmes dont les doigts crisp grâce à une couverture de fourrure. Très bien. OK, um, I'm going to target you one by one. No, please don't be embarrassed, but it's to show that we, we all don't know the every word. Peter, what did you get from that? What, what words stood out for you? A ray that discovers a hand of a girl whose fingers... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong person to ask. <laughs> You're going to give us an inferiority complex. Um, OK, so if you got ray and you got hand and you got woman, OK? What, I mean, basically, what are we saying? There's a woman's hand in the room. Now, obviously, it's not going to be <laughs> just laying there. There's a woman there, <laughs> OK? So basically, what are we saying so far? There's a room, and in the room, there's a woman. That's all you need to know, d'accord? Alors, une femme, les doigts gris crispés, couverture de fourrure. Fourrure is fur. She's sitting there. <laughs> Um, <coughs> scratching this blanket, but you don't have to, you know, it's not going to be that important. D'accord? Okay, continuons avec, uh, qui veut continuer? Richel, vas-y. La lumière fait briller l'eau d'une allée à l'âme qui glissant au long du bois, découvre le visage des chalets. Très bien. Um, <coughs> what did you get, Richel? Any words? Just, just pick out a word you knew. Um, <coughs> The light, the brilliant lights. Um, I forget what puis is. I remember that word. But okay, puis means then, then. But, but it's not important yeah. to know, right? Something about an arm. Did you get that? The arm, bras. Bras means arm. Oh, okay. What about visage? Did you get that one? Okay, so how would I sum this up if I was just going to try to see what I got from this? Right, midterm material right here. Il était une fois, right? To make sure you, you know it. Il était une fois, d'accord? What? Une chambre. There was a room one day, right? Une chambre avec une femme. And then the name is going to be pretty important. Comment s'appelle-t-elle dans l'état? Charlier, d'accord? Okay, so we we'll refer to her as Eve. This is it for, for like all of this, okay? That's all you need to know. Chambre, a room, a woman in the room. What's her name? Comment s'appelle la femme dans la chambre? Eve Charlier, d'accord? Eve Charlier. Où est Eve? Où est Eve, Mélanie? Excellent. Okay, est-ce qu'il y a de la lumière dans la chambre? Oui ou non? Est-ce qu'il y a de la lumière? Oui. 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 Est-ce qu'il est le jour ou la nuit, Julia? Le jour. Le jour, hein? Obviously, if there's light. OK. Continuons. Qui veut continuer? Bon, Richel, continue. Les yeux clos. Les yeux. Les yeux clos. Les nanis fissés. Elles semblent souffrir. Très bien. So that's what's nice about Sartre is he emphasizes a verb three times. So if you don't know one, you know the other, hopefully one out of three. D'accord. What did you get, Richelle? Her eyes closed. Très bien. Um, that she was agitated. Okay. Um, she was agitated. That's all you need. Wow, that's all you Wow, that's even more than I expected. D'accord. So that's it. Les narines pensées. It doesn't really matter if you know what it means or not, but narine is... Uh, here, this part of the nose, kind of. No. Yeah, kind of. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not looking at this word for word like the dialogues we do in class. D'accord? So basically, she seems to, what, be agitated, right? Some, some people might know souffrir. To, she seems like she's suffering, maybe. D'accord? And uh, clos in French, 
like here, means shut. How do we say closed? Fermé, huh? Don't mix them up. Don't really, don't ever say the door is clo, really, unless you want to say nailed shut, right? Not closed. D'accord? Okay, uh, Tara? I don't have a, uh, uh, I forgot to do it. Okay, there, there's polls. Great. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Pas d'excuse dans cette classe. <laughs> Une porte. Une porte ouvrir et dans le entrevenant, un homme se impasse. Se mobilise. D'accord, what did you get? Did you get one word? Um, the door is opening. Okay, good. And in something new. Mm -hmm. A man. That's it. That's all we need to know. A man appears. Okay, let's go on. I mean, if you want to enrich your diction, your vocabulary, go ahead and, and look up these words, you know, entre baillement, in the, in the mid, amid, as the door is between opening and blah, blah. Okay, bailler is to yawn, if anyone remembers that from French, too. Okay, we're going to describe him now. Allez, uh, Taha. El, el gamin habille très brun, avec de the bow de sombre, un mustache à l'américain, il partait âge de 35 ans d'un vent, il vient C'est André Chavier. Très bien. So, basically, if we're going to continue here, all we'd have to add is André arrive, for example, and that's it. Okay. Now, how about describing André, since we know that from French 3? Qui veut décrire André Charlier? Est-ce qu'il est blond? Oui, Richard. Très bien. Il est brun. <coughs> Or il a les cheveux bruns, if you want. Mm -hmm. Très bien. Quoi d'autre? Julia? Il a des Pardon? Il a Très bien. Um, Est-ce qu'il a une moustache? Oui. Gemma? Moustache, oui. Très bien. So things like this. Quel âge a André? 35. Okay. They say he looks like he's 35, but it, you know, we're not looking for little things like that. Peut-être 35 ans. So, I mean, in a way, you know, you, you're supposed to look forward to getting to know who these people are at this point. Okay? Don't look at this as like homework that's really boring. Keep seeing how many pages till 28. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what happens now. He's in and she's sitting there. Let's see what kind of relations these two people with the same last name have. Leila, merci. Il regarde intensément sa femme, mais il n'y a à dans son regard qu'une attention froide de pourvu de tendance. Très bien. Did you get anything, Layla? He was watching the girl intensely. Mm -hmm. Now, sa femme means what? His wife. Très bien. So now we know they're married. They're not brother and sister or something. That's pretty important. What else? Um, but Any words stick out here? Cold. cold. Okay, good. Something about cold. And. Uh, Maybe, but we're saying a cold attention. Regard. That, that may be worth looking up. Regard. Watch. You're on the right track. A look. A look. Un regard is a look. A certain <coughs> look. Okay. What kind of look does he have? Cold. Okay. Which right here tells me that there's something between this married couple that's not very right. N'est-ce pas? <laughs> Oui, il, il, il est froid. D'accord? Dépourvu is deprived. So, dépourvu de tendresse would be deprived of tenderness. Some people might get deprived of tenderness, not cold, you know. That's what's nice about Sartre. He keeps saying the same thing. Un regard froid would have sufficed, right? Would have been enough. But he went on and said dépourvu de tendresse. Okay. Est-ce que vous croyez, up till now, est-ce que vous croyez que André 
est amoureux de Eve, just from hearing this. Non. Non? Pourquoi? Um, parce que il, um, un homme qui froid. Qui est froid? Excellente, hein? Seems like a cold man to me too. Oui, excellente en état. Ok, uh, qui veut continuer? Cathy, merci. <coughs> okay, thanks to our direct objects, we know the last phrase. Um, what did you get, Cathy? Um, he came over and closed the door without any noise. And across the room, I don't know what happened with this. Um, he approached the room, he did not. Um, okay, y you guys are going a lot more than what I want. You're doing excellently. It's perfect translation. But let's try to pick out words, okay, so that some of us don't panic at this point. <laughs> um, if you just got something like entre, you know, s'approche d'Ev. Okay, he came in, he came close to her. D'accord? Now, here's a good expression for you to know, for your own knowledge. Actually, if I write it on the board, it's more than your own knowledge. Why don't you underline this and try to understand what it means? Pas de loup. Anybody knows what pas de loup means? <coughs> it's a good French expression. If you speak to a French person and you say, Je suis venu à pas de loup, they'll be very impressed. Um, what does literally loup mean? L wolf? Yeah. Wow, who said wolf here? Excellent. Wolf and pa is steps. So steps of a wolf are kind of usually, you know, think of a wolf in a forest, doesn't, you know, suddenly they appear but you didn't hear them, right? So pas de loup is actually this kind of. Oui. oui. Alors, par exemple, who can give me a sentence using pas de loup? I can make up one while you think. For example, quand je rentre tard la nuit chez mes parents, years ago, mm -hmm. je rentre à pas de loup. Hein? OK? Oui, oui. Alors, uh, can someone give me pas de loup? Anastasia, can you create one? No? This is the kind of thing that if you've um, the kids that had me from French to know, I, I, on the midterm you have a choice of um, French expressions that you have to put into a sentence. So you'll never be limited to the ones, you'll always have a choice. But probably one of the choices will be pas de loup. D'accord? Est-ce que vous marchez à pas de loup? Quand est-ce que vous marchez à pas de loup? Quand? Quand je suis en retard. Ouais, pourquoi pas? Uh, quand elle est en retard so that no one can hear her come in. Excellent, Cathy. Okay. Um, qui ne l'a pas entendu entrer? Let's test grammar here. What does this L apostrophe stand for? <coughs> Pardon? Direct object. What, what, what does it stand for? Who's the L apostrophe? Him, right? Because Ev, who did not hear him come in? Excellent, Gemma. Huh? So this L apostrophe used to be what? Le. Le, not la. Okay. Uh, continuons. Darneta, merci. Entendu ce son lit, elle est vêtue par de tout sa chemise de nuit, de robe de chambre très élégante. Très élégante. Oui. Continue. Um, une couverture de fourrure de couvre <coughs> de jambes. Très bien. Qu did you get anything, Darnetta? Um, <coughs> yeah, on the bed, uh, she's clothed or dressed. Okay, again, we're getting a perfect translation here. Oh, sorry. Let's pick out words. What did you get? Li? Son lit. Son lit. Okay, good. So we know something about the bed. Étendu, maybe you didn't know what it means, right? But something about the bed, so maybe she's sitting on the bed. Very good. 
That's it, okay. Pajamas. Très bien. So, uh, a good question might be at this point, qu'est-ce que la femme ou Eve, qu'est-ce qu'elle porte? Qu'est-ce qu'elle porte? Est-ce qu'elle porte un jeans? Qu'est-ce qu'elle porte, Peter? Très bien. Est-ce que le robe de chambre est élégant, Daryl? Élégant? Très élégant, excellent. D'accord. Okay, this is the kind of reading I want you to do now. I'm not going to assign again anything. I sh I'm sure most of you didn't reach page 28 anyway. Go back and read this way. Just pick out words, see what's happening in general. Don't worry about words like entrebâillement. I'll never ask you about that. Merci.